All right. So while playing around with Saren and well, having fun for the first time with her ever because I forgot to farm her at some point. Uh, I found a build I really like when using my Cedo with her in a certain build. I know it's Saren and it's like other builds where basically you're dealing with the same thing over and over again. But the reason I'm really enjoying this build is because I basically don't have to do basically anything. I proc Toxic Lash, my spores are out, and then I can technically just hit the Glaive button. And as you can tell, but just by me hitting the Glaive a little bit, well, all those... Ow. All those icons are the spores getting procced and all of the uh, statuses from Toxic Lash continuously going on and on and on and I find it to be quite a lot of fun it makes my Cedo really really fun to use again but at the same time I have changed my Cedo uh build since the video I did on it and as you can tell I can after just throwing out some spores and hitting my glaive I can just sit back and have fun literally doing nothing the only issue is obviously I'm not picking up any of the um any of the life support that's what's called but it's fun I'm having a lot of uh Basically, I'm having a lot of enjoyment out of watching all those, like, big numbers appear and just everything dying. Because literally, I can sit here. Granted, now I'm noticing my uh, infected are going down because they're dying and nothing else is spawning beside them. But And there it went. I was about to say, but there's a thing where it suddenly will start spiking up because they just keep spreading. Obviously, this video is uh, out of the blue. I will show the build after I obviously complete my, like, little fun test run. And I'll explain the whole concept of it. So I'll get to y'all whenever an Acolyte spawns, obviously, so you can see what it looks like. So I'll see y'all then. I mean, seriously, just look at it. I haven't even gone into the next room and it's spreading that way. Like the carnage is wild. Well, damn. Obviously, my Saren isn't fully built properly or perfectly, so she does have her flaws. But you can see the pure power and hell, speak of the devil. There is the uh, Acolyte. So how will this build uh, handle an Acolyte? Let's find out. Wait for one to spawn. There we go. It is angst. I don't know if angst can uh, remove status effects. Hell, my glaive just tapped her and look at the damage. I mean, it seems like it does perfectly fine. It does unbelievably fine. And look at that. I haven't even messed with the people down here and my spores are still spawning. What? And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cedo, you and your blast damage. I'm going to enjoy this a little bit more, and then I will show the build off and go into depth in a second. So I will be back. Now, I said I was going to show it off, but real quick before I do, I found a nice little corridor. This is how little I'm literally having to do anything. I, they're just funneling in. My toxic lash is up. I throw a Cedo glaive down there and the carnage just keeps happening. I mean, I've already killed a thousand three hundred basically just from doing this. And on top of that, taking advantage of my uh, hound here who just keeps throwing those out, which seems to feel like it's bugged. He just keeps applying more status and more status and more status. So it's it's just helping more and more. Again, I ain't picking up the life support, but I can easily just go and grab it. And now even a uh, nullifier just just died. So I'm going to have a little bit more fun. I'll probably go to about 15 minutes and I'll show off the builds for all three of my uh, things. So Saren, my Cedo and my hound. So y'all can recreate and have fun, just as much fun. Because I'm having a lot of fun. This is, it, all the damage numbers just make me so happy. So I'll see y'all in the orbiter whenever I'm done. All right, so I'm out of the mission finally. I had a ton of fun. I killed like 5,000 enemies. Anyway, what is the build? How do you play with it and why is it fun? Well, it's a base form Saren. There's no uh, arcanes or anything added. Obviously add arcanes if you want. I actually plan on doing it later. We run Prime Flow, Archon Continuity, Augur Secrets, Umbral Intensify, Contagion Cloud, Streamline, Stretch, Adaptation. Please add more range if you'd like, add more strength if you like. This was a test build and I think I still like it. Bulldog we'll Mented and Arcane Avenger, run whatever arcanes you like. We run our Arcane Avenger to help Cedo. So why is it so good? Well, Contagion Cloud is like a mini dual Ikor in Karnon. It spreads out Toxin Clouds that help and deal just damage over and over again. And overall, why is that so good? Well, we have Spores, which applies a um, constant corrosive spread. And Cedo has a Glaive attack, that of which applies uh, every base element in the uh, in the game. That being heat, cold, electricity, uh, toxin. If I'm not wrong, that should be it. But it also procs whatever is on your Glaive, so we're also applying corrosive. And the radial attack also applies blast. Why does this matter? Shotgun Elementalist takes into account toxin, blast, heat, electricity, which are all the base ones I just said. It just doesn't take into account cold. Why does that make it so good? 
it just keeps repeatedly procking it and procking it and procking it and procking it. And if you use my Hound pet, where if you want to know how, how I built him, go watch my Hound versus Pan, uh, Panzer Volpophila video. You'll see him also applying the same type of status effects, but even more. He'll apply radiation, viral, stuff like that. So in this test one, I'll just show you how it works, basically. Spread spores to everybody around. Hit a glaive attack. And obviously, if they were more condensed, it would be spreading a lot better. But they're obviously not. So let me just force that to happen. Reapply it. And, well, they now all just crumble. This also does work with dual Icor, Akikor, weapons like that. And of course, it works with the Hound, like I had just said. Uh, let's spawn some more and show what it happens whenever you involve your Hound as well, if you follow the build, like I said, Hound versus Panzer. So let's spread the thing. He applies his effects, and then we hit our Glaive. And it just, it just helps it even more, because we have uh, Galvanized... Whatever it is for shotguns that is like conditional... Uh, Overload for shotguns, that's also on here. So it just helps spread the spores and helps Toxic Cloud just that much more. So, uh, if y'all like this little short video that shows off one of my favorite builds, do tell me in the comments, hit that like button, and do subscribe so I my channel can grow bigger. I do enjoy making all these videos for y'all, and tell me what weapons and stuff you want to see in the comments below, because I do need to eventually get to making a uh, Corvex video over his augment, because I said I would do it, and I have completely... Forgot to get to it because I forgot to buy it. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.